Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Yesterday I got a box in the mail and it was the entire new range of shade extensions for the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. So I was super, super excited to get it and I will lift it up and show it to you in a second. It's like 35 pounds and I can't hold it up for very long. So I'm going to take a second before I do that. But I ran a poll on Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see swatches of it because I, you guys love swatch videos. Like they're literally the most watched thing on my channel by far, like far and away the most. And the result was pretty resounding yes. Uh, I think less I checked, I had 400 votes for yes and three votes for no. So um, I'm gonna film swatches because clearly that's what you guys want. Here we have the box. It is a, a little bit heavier than it needs to be because the stuff in the inside is like sitting in molded acrylic, which is so heavy. So I was gonna lift it up and show it to you real quick because shit's heavy. I'm gonna drop it on the floor. We have six new matte shades on the top row. There are seven new nude shades in the center row, and I believe there are 12 brand new metallic shades on the bottom. And I'm gonna swatch them in that order, in the exact order that they are in this. So the first portion will be these bold mattes, then I'll do some nudes, and then all the metallics at the end. If you're only interested in one section of it, I totally get it. I will try to put timestamps in the description bar, but if for some reason I forget, please just yell at me and I'll go ahead and do it because I always say that I'm gonna do that and then I forget and, and I'm sorry, I'm the worst. In case you are not familiar with the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks, uh, the claims that they make officially are uh, weightless, eight hour formula, water resistant, and infused with primer oil for comfort. Um, I can pretty much attest that all of those things are true. Uh, their matte liquid lipstick in the color Chill Zone, which is like a gray color, is like one of my favorite lipsticks to wear of all time. It's very comfortable, it wears really well, it's very light, it's easy to apply. Like I've never had any issues with their liquid lipsticks before. I think they're great, so uh, that's all very true. And as far as when these will be available, uh, they already are available online from Ulta, but that seems to be the only place they're currently out. Um, they'll be online and in store at Sephora, Nordstrom, and Macy's in either December or January. Uh, there's like different dates for all of it, so I'm gonna list that in the description too. So if you want specifics on that, that will be in the description bar. Before we get into the swatches, if you are not subscribed, uh, go ahead and do that. You're gonna wanna stick around. I do swatch videos all the time. Literally, the second anyone sends a full collection of lipsticks to my door, I'm out here swatching them for you, often at the expense of the health of my lips. So um, yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you could be around for that and all the other lovely things I do on this channel. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that really does me a solid and I would appreciate it. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I have like a new lighting setup today, so if things look weird, I'm working on it, but I think from what I can see that things look pretty good, so I'm hopeful, but if you think it's a little bit off, um, that's why uh, it's a learning process. Let me stop rambling because we have quite a few lipsticks to get through, uh, and let's zoom in and start the swatches.
that was a lot of lipstick okay so now that we're done uh just a couple of thoughts on a few of the shades um 99 of these i would say everything but two performed stellarly uh one thing i noticed is that crystal baller and pearl please which are the two lightest shades and are both metallics were a little patchy uh especially pearl please i really couldn't even get that to be even on my lips at all However, uh, especially in the case of Pearl Please being like that it's a white shade pretty much, I would imagine that the intention for that is to use it more as like a topper on top of other things because um, white is usually like really difficult to get opaque to begin with, especially if it's gonna be metallic. And um, it's really like, it's very, very sheer, which leads me to believe that they really didn't intend for it to be worn by itself. Obviously, I don't know that for certain, but that's what it seems like to me. Um, I'm like looking at these shades and hoping I didn't skip any because like my brain is fried now after doing them all. And um, if I skipped any, I apologize deeply. Uh, Crystal Baller is definitely a little bit sheer as well. Uh, not as sheer as Pearl Please, but again, not something I would wear on its own just for that reason. Also, that color is way too light for me anyway. I have very pigmented lips, so when I try to put like a very, very light shade over them, it looks weird because the color of my lips comes through. So I had to like block it out with something. It's just usually not something I reach for. So for me, those two are no go. Everything else, stellar, excellent, fantastic, love it can't wait to use them in looks and i am so grateful that they sent them to me uh, so keep an eye out on instagram for those in the next couple of weeks because i'm probably going to be using them a lot for lip art and i think that's all i have to say for today so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out uh, i would also really appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel because i would love to have you around for future videos i do swatches like this whenever i can like i said earlier so uh, if you're into swatch videos place for you. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinface on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, pretty much anywhere that you would possibly want to find me. I'm at Miss Quinface. I hope you found these swatches helpful. I know lip swatches for me are like way more helpful than arm swatches or just seeing the products online. So uh, hopefully you find that to be the case too. I am going to do a much needed lip mask and maybe get some coffee because I am exhausted right now and I will see you in the next one.